The Kursk group of Russians was fully supplied with ammunition from a warehouse in Toropets in the Tver region which was hit by the Ukrainian Defense Forces the day before. Ukrainian military expert Yevgeny Diki reported this on Radio NV. They will have a very acute shortage of ammunition in the next few days, since they do not bring it from the large arsenal every day. Intermediate warehouses and field reserves are being created, but they are for a week, for example, and then they need to be replenished again. This is the largest arsenal in the entire European part of the Russian Federation. A couple of comparable ones in size are only far beyond the Urals, Dickey said. He also recalled that there were up to 30,000 different types of ammunition in the warehouse before the strike. According to Dickey, it will no longer be possible to stop the fire in the warehouses since such fires cannot be extinguished. As for what directly concerns the front, first of all, there were rockets for grads in a very large quantity. This is 120 caliber. Therefore, grads in the Kursk region will most likely fall silent now. According to the GUR information, there were also a large quantity of rockets for S-300 and some quantity of original rockets for Iskanders, and almost all Korean copies of these rockets transferred to the Russians, added Dicky. Recall a Ukrainian drone attack on a significant Russian weapons stockpile in the Tver region in might be the Ukrainian army's biggest hit against Moscow's arsenal since early 2022. The blast from the strike was so strong that earthquake monitoring stations picked it up as if it were a minor earthquake, while NASA reported a series of heat sources spotted by its equipment from space. The facility in Toropets is estimated to have stored around 30,000 tons of military munitions. The destruction of the ammunition that was stored there will most likely negatively affect the northern operational group of the Russian army. Renovated in 2018, the facility in Toropets is estimated to have stored tons upon tons of military goods, including explosives, artillery shells and ballistic missiles. The storage site covered an area of over 5 square kilometers in size and a perimeter of more than 12 kilometers long. The town of Toropets is situated around 470 kilometers north of the Ukrainian border and the destruction of the ammunition that was stored there will most likely negatively affect the northern operational group of the Russian army, including the supply of troops in Kursk, Belgorod and Bryansk. According to Ukrainian sources, the military site in Toropets reportedly housed 
fuel tanks as well as missiles intended for Iskander missile systems, Tochka U missile systems, guided aerial bombs and assorted artillery ammunition.